Today, we are gonna get these sleeves in the ground. Code says I have to be 42 inches deep. These are 48, so I'm gonna to have to do some backfilling in some areas, but that's okay. I wanna make sure that I'm at grade and that these tubes are exactly where I want them to be. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Dirdorf and this is Detroit DIY. All right, so here's what we got. This piece of cardboard represents my six by six post. It's five and a half inches by five and a half inches. I want my post to be flush with this string and centered on the sleeve. So the reason for that is, is my when my two by comes across here, I want to cut a notch in my six by six post for that two by to sit on top of to, to help support it, not just nailed to the side of it. So what I'm gonna do is get this grade stake out of the way. I'm gonna set this guy right here like this and I'm gonna set my tube over it and center it. Dug some grass out of the way here to make things a little bit easier. So I'm gonna take this tube and I'm going to set it right here, right over the top of my string. And center it right on top of the post. I'm hopeful that you can see that down there. Now what I'm going to do is take my turf marking paint. And just like that, that is where I need to dig my post. So there we have it. I'm going to get started on this one. And then we'll go through and show you how to set them to grade. I got my first tube set in place and it's to grade. Let's have a look here. As you can see, we are good to go. Our string is just slightly above the tube. And I will adjust that um, before I fill it with cement but we're really close here and I'll get that adjusted here in a little bit so that I can make sure I'm level off of every off of this one to every each additional one all right guys one more thing I want to do before I put this tube in the ground and leave it there it is going to be a few days before I get the inspection and a week before I get to pour these tubes are basically useless if they're wet you can't pour in them if they're wet so I want to keep these tubes dry, and I'm going to do that by putting them in a trash bag and taping it up. So I'm hopeful that one trash bag will make it to the top, but it won't. So what I'll do is I'll tape it and I'll put a second one over the top and keep these things dry. My only other biggest fear is, is that they try to float. If it does, it's supposed to rain. Hopefully it's not a lot because I don't want them to float up. Guys, just a little tip here. When you're setting your posts and, you're, and you have a six or eight inch distance from your string, you'll need to use your level and, and get it nice and level against the string so that you can move the, your piece of cardboard right up to your level that way you know that is exactly where your post is going to be then again we're going to take our tube push our string out of the way we're going to center our tube right over that post it doesn't matter if you're a half inch or a quarter inch off. And we're gonna mark it. There we have it. That is exactly where that tube needs to be.
nothing wrong with a good workout guys I want to make sure while you're doing this that your tube is fitting the hole you want it to fit pretty snug you want to make sure that it's fitting the hole and that you don't need to scrape the sides we also want to make sure that we're going in pretty level so I'm off by about a quarter of an inch so I'll have to scrape the sides and get that fitting in there just a little bit better I've got this second tube in so the string levels are nice and they get really close but they are not perfect so what I've done is I've taken an 8 foot decking board and I've laid it on top of both of these sleeves to make sure that I am level and as you can see I am perfectly level and what I'm going to do is each post each sleeve that I put in I'm going to keep hopping across each one of them and checking for level so this will be much more precise than my string and the reason I want to do this is because one day I want to build a roof over the top of this duck and I'll fill this all into grade and screen in the bottom so then my post will not be under the dirt all right it's been a long day let me show you what I got going on here I've got three more sleeves to put in just for the walkway other than that we're complete I need to get some more dirt to fill it up this is the sleeve for the staircase along with that one right there and this one is in that's the first one the one that we highlighted here's the corner as you can see the strings lay over it real nice I've started spreading some of the dirt, but I'm going to need more to grade out this side of the hill. And there's the remainder of them. Now my string line level did lie to me a little bit. And I wound up being about three inches low over here. You can see where I originally had the string and where it wound up. And that was discovered by using the board across the strings so that tube up there wound up just a little bit higher than what it was originally marked out to be but all is good so I'm happy I've done a lot of digging here I thought it was all sand but I have discovered there is about 40 inches of lake bed silt through here so I knew that they had dredged that area right there, but I didn't know that they filled the yard with it. So now I do. And a little tip for you. If you're using a post hole digger in the sand and you can't get any dirt to come out with the post hole digger, dump a little water in the hole, it'll firm the sand up and let the post hole digger grab a hold of it. In the next video, I'm going to highlight the installation of this ledger board. We will not... Um, record filling the pilings with cement I will show you the after I will show you the post I will show you the post based installation and uh, the concrete's just mixing some concrete and dumping it in so no big deal I hope you enjoyed yourself if you did click on one of these two videos they're going to pop up right here and watch a little more and I'd like to give a special thanks to Tony Iconelli and Brett Wimmer because none of this could happen without them